Hello everybody and thank you for joining me today. It's Wellness Wednesday. My name is Michelle Hamer. I am the Senior Recreation Coordinator in the Athletics and Recreation Department and today I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to upcycle candle jars. So a couple weeks ago I talked about um, the benefits of candles and how fabulous candles are and I talked about how much I love candles and when you like candles as much as I do, you have so many left over. And once they, you know, the, when the wick gets down to the very, very bottom and there's nothing left, what can you do with all your jars? So I'm gonna tell you today. So the first thing is, so once your candle is done and you're, you're just down to that very, very bottom, you're going to take it and pour in boiling water. So I just boiled water in the kettle, poured it into the candle um, holder, and then I left it overnight. So this morning I came in and all of that leftover candle residue, you know, the stuff at the very bottom that you just can't burn anymore, comes to the top, rises to the top, and then out pops this, which is the rest of the candle. Done, throw that away, you're left with water, you dump that out, clean it, you gotta scrape out the, I've already done it, scrape out the, the wicks that are attached at the bottom, there's a bit of glue under there, so you kinda have to scrape them out, wash it really well, um, take off if there is a uh, label on it, you uh, soak that in water and you can take that off. It comes off quite easily and there you go. And now you're ready to um, upcycle this candle jar. Now this one I really like because it's kind of like a, a smoky, <coughs> excuse me, a smoky look on it. <coughs> so you, you cannot just use this one as is. You don't even need to uh, decorate it or jazz it up. But I'll show you a couple ones that I've done decorated. So who remembers the bedazzler? So now you can go to the Dollarama and literally buy a sheet of blingy um, jewels that are um, that you can stick on. So I've already started, I'm just gonna do one more layer. So really pretty, you literally just peel it off, the strip, and I'm just gonna take my empty candle jar and I'm just gonna decorate it around it. And this one is just uh, pinks and silvers, so um, just, pretty colors, they come in all sorts of different color. And this is just a way to, to you know, spruce it up a little bit. And I've just done alternating colors, pinks and silvers. And then once you've uh, bedazzled your candle jar, then it makes um, a really pretty container that you can use for all sorts of things. You can actually put things in it and give it as a gift. It's really, really um, nice to do. So what are some things that you can do with your candle holder? Well, probably the easiest thing is, uh, use it as, you know, pens and pencils. Who, this is my sharp, all my Sharpies. Who doesn't love Sharpies, right? This is a full Sharpie collection. So pens and pencils, really easy. A really great idea to, to use actually as a gift is um, tea bags. So pop in some tea bags, some really nice, pretty smelling tea bags. This one came with a lid, pop the lid on. There you go, you've just made a really nice gift to give to somebody. So that's, so that's um, another idea. Um, this candle I bought, this one's actually from the dollar store and it came with this really pretty design. So who needs to, um, decorate it at all? It's just going to go as is. Some other things that you can use with this. Um, if you have a nice plant, you can put a plant in here or some flowers. This would make a beautiful centerpiece on a table at some point. Um, I have this really small one. Um, it's, this was a, a small candle that I bought, which is, really cute because you can use it for a few different things. So I bought this also from the dollar store. I really enjoy the dollar store. Um, and this is sort of like a, um, it, it's like you might want to take twine and glue it on, but this one actually comes um, with a, as a sticker. So you could just take this, which comes sort of like a twine material. And all I would, all I would do is, um, take the backing off and then I'm going to go all the way up and I've just decorated my small candle jar into this really pretty uh, do-it-yourself design. Again, with a little bit more time, I would probably measure and do a better job, but for the sake of time today, this is what we're getting. So I'm just going to cut off the extra there. So again, I would go all the way up and you've made a really pretty um, decorative candle jar and I would use this small one who doesn't have an, a, a giant thing of hair elastics in their bathroom right well now you've got a really pretty container to store all your hair elastics in or we'll clean up this mess later another great thing for your bathroom are q-tips 
got Q-tips lying around, pop them in here. You've just made a really pretty container to store your Q-tips in, a little bit nicer than just keeping them in the box. Or, you know those makeup puffs um, or cotton, cotton pads that you could buy at the drugstore? Again, very, very pretty. So lots of different uses for this. Um, other things, oh, this is a good one. So I'm gonna use this for, actually I'm gonna use this one that's like got the smoky outside. You know what's coming, spare change. So I'm gonna collect this, I'm gonna use this as my spare change and I'm gonna watch it grow. Might wanna put the lid on that one so uh, no one sees what's in there and I'm gonna watch it grow and I, every time I get spare change, although who's using cash these days? Who are we kidding? You can put it in there. Uh, another great idea, let's use this beautiful bedazzled one. You can uh, jazz up your bathroom, put your toothbrush and your toothpaste in there. Um, so, so many different ideas that you can use. Um, you can decorate them, you can um, put the, decorate them from the dollar store, or you can um, leave them as is if they come pre-decorated. And really any idea that you can think of, you can put in there. But this way you don't have to just throw them out when you're done. You can use your candle jar, recycle it, upcycle it, and use it again. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a beautiful sunshiny day outside today. Get outside, get some fresh air, be well, be active. Have a great day.